Science Talk Academy! Research written, performed, and edited by the students from the Nueva School. Suppose we don't, then scientists don't know how to refer to them. It's so confusing and difficult. If we have 40 names we knew for each species, ooh, that won't do. Which name are we supposed to use? Let's go binomial. It's a puma, but I thought it's a cougar. Ah, uh, guys, mountain lions, dog guys. Just pick one, guys. Need a system so we don't get mixed up. Taxonomy consists of universal wisdom based on classifying. Duh. We need a better mnemonic to remember domain, kingdoms, phylums, class, order, family, genus, and species. I know, right? I'm just so sick of dumb kings play chess on fine green stools. Yeah, we live in a democracy, so that's not even relevant. What about darkened spot carnage? Obviously for good spaghetti. Taxonomy has different tiers to make relations clean and clear unique aspects for every tier. These two, the same kingdom. Eats, moves, and breathes, plant day, do photosynthesis classes, share more specifically dairy, mammalian. It's a starfish, but I thought it's a sea star. Uh, guys, a story, dia, dog, guys. We should just pick one, guys. Need a system so we don't get mixed up. Taxonomy consists of universal wisdom based on classifying. So, what do you think about my demonic mnemonic? Um, let's just ask the viewers. Comment it down below. And like and subscribe. But him and I, we prefer to use the matter tree. Tree ee -e, to put matter into categories. Agories. And because of its implicity, implicity makes understanding our world so easy. So easy. It's the matter tree.